I wanted to show you a more complex example of workflow in Dynamics CRM. Workflow in CRM is really a powerful tool. We recently used it to help support new users to MyGP Cloud. And I want to show you what we did in that example. When a new user signs up for MyGP Cloud, we automatically create a new account record in our CRM system and also a contact record for each user on the new system. We're looking at the account record, and the account's going to have a relationship type of a prospect or a partner. They're also going to have the contacts associated with them. These will be the users in the new system. So for this particular user, I created a new workflow. And let's take a look at this workflow. This is a workflow that's going to be sent out to the new users, and it has a lot of content associated with that process. This is a 30-day workflow, so it runs for a long time. So let's open it up. So there's a couple things that I did here. First of all, I'm going to wait 15 minutes before this workflow starts. Because normally the accounts will come in and the contacts will come in automatically from our MyGP Cloud system. But if one has to be entered manually, I want to make sure that all the information is correct before I start the workflow. Secondly, I want to determine whether this particular account is a partner account or a customer account, new prospect account. So I do that right here to make sure that it is customer. If it's a partner or it's not a prospect or a customer, then I'm going to cancel the workflow. Also, I have an additional check. If new users are added to my GP Cloud after a certain period of time, in this case five days, I don't want to start this workflow. And now I get into the guts of the workflow. What we're going to do is over a period of 30 days, we're going to send a number of messages out to the new users, giving them instructions on how to use My GP Cloud. So the first message goes out after the first day. You can see here that I'm waiting for one day after the initial contacts created. Then I want to also check to make sure that the contact hasn't indicated they don't want to receive this. So this is a new field that I added in the contact record. It's similar to the allow bulk email or don't allow bulk email. So here I'm checking that to make sure that the customer still wants to get these email messages. If they don't, then the workflow is canceled and that's the end of it. However, if they want to go ahead after the first day, I'm going to send out this message here. So let's take a look at it. This is the email message that we send out. And I'm using templates here. The reason I use templates is I want to be able to change the email template while workflows are still in process. If this was just a straight email message, I have to stop the workflow so that I could edit it. However, I'm using templates, so at any point in time, I can go and edit the templates, and then when the workflow reaches that template, it's going to take the current version of that template and send out the email. Here's an example of the template that we're using right now. This is the actual email message that went out to a specific contact. And to set up this step, I said I'm going to use an email template, and then these are the collection of templates that I have in my system. This particular template is message number two, creating your chart of accounts. So let's take a look at that template. Go down to settings here, open up email templates. And the one we were just looking at is this template here. What I've done here is I've added the contents of this particular email that I want incorporated into the workflow. You can see here I've got some nice graphics, I've got some text, and I've got links to other pages within the site. To get these graphical images into my email template, I have to have these images available on a public facing website so I can copy and paste them into the template. So I created a number of templates that I can use in my workflow. And again, the reason I did that is so I can go into the template. If I need to change it, I can change it in the template without having to stop all the workflows, make the change, and then start the workflows again. So let's go back and take a look at the workflow. So these workflow steps have already been completed. You can tell that by the green check. If I browse down here, I can see that it's now waiting for the fifth day. You can see that by the little graphics going around there. So this is how I put together a rather lengthy workflow. It goes over for at least 30 days. And most of it's repeatable in that it's 
email messages going out, but I'm using templates. And also at the end of it, I, start, I can create additional records in CRM. In this case, the workflow functionality in Dynamics CRM was very helpful to us. It helps us create a broader relationship more quickly with our new users. It's something that you could probably use in your business. You should take some time to look at it and use workflow. It's relatively easy, but it's very powerful. So please take a look at it.